In this first episode, we'll explore how to utilize these three uniforms. So first, let's talk about your resolution, which is a vector 2 containing the canvas width and height in pixels. As you know, GLSL operates within a coordinate system that ranges from 0 to 1, so we need to normalize our values. To achieve that, we divide the coordinates of the current fragment known as GL frag chord by the resolution. Now, using this normalized value, we can control the luminosity of the canvas, so this results in a horizontal gradient where 0 represents black and 1 represents white. You can also manipulate the Y values for a vertical gradient, and to invert the color, simply subtract the value from 1. The next uniform is the cursor's coordinates also expressed in pixels. We normalize these by dividing them by the resolution as well, and this allows us to use the X component of the mouse position to adjust the canvas luminosity. Now, let's make things a little bit more interesting. We'll create a fading circle that surrounds the cursor. To achieve that, we'll set the fragment's color based on its distance from the mouse position. The lower is the distance, the darker the fragment will be, as values approach zero. And again, to invert the colors, we'll subtract the calculated value from one. To control the circle radius, we'll use the power function. Increasing the exponent here will decrease the circle size. Now, let's introduce the third uniform. We'll do that by multiplying the exponent by time, which makes the circle disappear because the resultant values become large. So, what I'm going to do here is apply a sine function which returns values between minus 1 and 1, making the circle animate. Notice that the canvas stays white for longer periods corresponding to the duration when the sine function returns negative values. To balance the animation, we'll use the abs function to consider only positive values. The final step involves reducing the circle radius when the sine function returns 1. To achieve that, we'll subtract this portion from a fixed value such as 1. And that wraps up this first episode, so don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.